Well, and let's talk about another uh, very popular business um, platform, ShareFile. They have a vulnerability, and this is an article that uh, you found for me, so I don't know it as well. Can you can you fill me on what's happening here with Citrix and ShareFile and this yeah. vulnerability? Yeah, and this is one of the things we just kind of want to do alert people. A lot of people use ShareFile. A lot of accounting firms use it, uh, attorneys, people who have to commit. What ShareFile is for is to be able to send files securely uh, through email. That's really what it's used for. So if I'm sending a, if I'm an accountant, I want to send you your tax return. I don't want to just do that as an attachment. That's not secure. I shouldn't be doing it as an attachment. Matter of fact, if your accountant does that as an attachment, you should probably speak to your accountant. That's not secure. But if they want to be able to transmit uh, files back and forth to, to users, attorneys need to do this a lot. They need to do it securely. And ShareFile is an app that's been around for a long time. It's a very good app that you can use as a service, really. And you have an account with ShareFile, and it can tag, you can do it through Gmail or whatever by going through their website or attach it right to, uh, there's a, an add-in, uh, as they're referred to, an Outlook. So you can just attach it. And what that does is that that encrypts the file. It actually runs it through the share file server uh, encrypted. And it's a good way, uh, it's a secure way for you to be able to share a file with another user through email. And it's very common and they had a vulnerability that got exposed here. And there's actually a couple of vulnerabilities so, as so often happens. Once they find one, they find a couple more that are related to it. ShareFile fixed that very quickly, but the word is, the, the reason we're trying to get the word out here is if you use ShareFile, or if your accounting firm use it, or your attorney firm use it, or however you might communicate with your bookkeeper, if you're using ShareFile, but just be sure that you update it to the latest version. It's a good product. There's no reason, there's no, there's so, no scare. So just make sure that you're updated, and then that should close yes. the security hole. But you're going to need to probably update it. It won't always update itself in, in, in like the attachment in, in Outlook. Mm -hmm. You might need to, you need to click on that plugin add in actually, as it's called in Outlook and check for updates because if it doesn't, if the automatic update part doesn't pop up, you're going to want to be sure that you do that. Okay. Because there's also uh, attachments for Excel and word. So you can just write from word, just compress it, send it out to somebody, uh, send the file right out through share file. Be sure that all those are updated to the latest version. Do, run a check updates. Be sure that you have the latest version. If you do that, you're fine. But if you don't do it, uh, you, you, there's a security hole there, and there's you definitely want to take care of that. Very right. common app. Very good app. Terrific app, actually. Very valuable. Well, I think that's actually all the time that we have for this week, Tim. Uh, that hits us at our half an hour limit here. But thank you for hanging out with me this week. Let's do it again next week, okay? Sounds good. Thank you. All right. Thanks. Have a great week. Thank you.